couldn't get much more grassroots than the first Plowshares Craft Fair back in 1970. But in the years since, the event has grown into a major holiday tradition. It usually fills the cafeteria and gym at Nottingham High School for a weekend in early December with some of the area's most gifted crafters and entertainers. Carmen Viviano Crafts has been going since she was a child, and lately she's been bringing along her own daughter. Everybody's just gathering and talking, and it's just, it really is such a, it feels like a warm hug every year. And so, especially this year when I know we really could have used it, it's unfortunate we couldn't uh, have it this year. But we aimed to capture a little bit of that, just a little. Because of the pandemic, they've migrated to the internet this year, creating an online marketplace linking to about 50 of the event's regular vendors, offering, among other things, clothing and pottery and fine handcrafted jewelry. I'm currently wearing, I'm decked out with some beautiful earrings. You can't tell, but there's silver and uh, gold here. I'm also wearing a ring that features my birthstone, if you can see that. The traditional Crafts Fair weekend also includes some great live music from talent like Dan Duggan on the Hammer Dulcimer, and they were sure to include samples of that online. The sponsoring Syracuse Peace Council has done all it can to keep the tradition going into its 50th year. For shoppers and for all the artisans who depend on holiday sales for a big chunk of their livelihood. The silver lining is that the website gives those artists exposure for 10 weeks, right through the holidays, instead of for just one weekend. We're just really hopeful that this will get people through and that we can see everybody in person next year. This is a special weekend at PlowsharesCraftsFair.org with panel discussions and musical performances. The website marketplace is up through the end of January. I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. And tell us something good. If you've got a great story we're sharing, send us an email at somethinggood at localsyr.com.